Never before in human history has the wisdom of the world's greatest mind been so accessible to us all. You don't have to be a genius to think like a genius. In this video, I will show you how to build a thinking machine to make this possible. You can use this power to solve difficult problems, to support your life decision, or just improve how you think. Hi, I'm Tony, an AI engineer. In this channel, I will share my exploration in how to use AI to work more efficiently, learn smarter, make better decisions, and lead healthier. So what does it take to build this thinking machine? The formula is surprisingly simple. On one side, you have around 100 models representing human wisdom. On the other, we have a state-of-art AI model representing computer power. Let's start with human wisdom. What exactly is a mental model? Think of them as tools to see the world. They are the frameworks and blueprints that geniuses use to understand reality. As the legendary investor Charlie Munger once said, you've got to have models in your head. They are the wisdom left from the past greatest minds. You've likely heard some of them. First principle thinking, Elon Musk method for breaking down problems to their core truth. Or come Razor, Steve Jobs use it to design great products. Inversion, the safeguard of Charlie Munger's investment strategy. And even thermodynamics can teach us about energy and efficiency in any system. But here is the secret. Relying on one model will only give you a narrow and distorted view. A true genius sees the world through multifaceted lens. Using a wide range of different mental models to make the best possible decision. So how many models do we need? You may need 80 to 90 important models to make you a worldly wise person. In this video, I've prepared 98 models. But to be realistic, it will take a person a decade to master 100 mental models. It is no easy at all. What if we could delegate this heavy lifting work to a machine? And I'm not talking about a simple chatbot. A chatbot is passive. It only answers when you ask. We need an AI agent, a proactive partner that lives on our computer. So what an AI agent should do? An AI agent should actually think about which mental models uh, to apply to your specific situation. Remember your preference and the craft and save detailed analysis report for you to review. And of course, importantly, it is easy to install and maintain. Fortunately, in 2025, this is not a science fiction. Currently on the market, there are two major players. One is Cloud Code, and another one is Gemini CLI. So which one is right for our thinking machine? For both of them, they use top tier models. But when it comes to the context window, representing how much information AI can handle at once, Cloud offers 200,000 tokens. But Gemini offers a massive 1 million token window. It can swallow the entire book of the Lord of the Ring. This is crucial because our thinking machine needs to search a lot of online information to help us make better decisions. And finally, the cost. Cloud Code is a paid service. Gemini CLI, if you use it lightly, it is free. So for our thinking machine, the choice is clear. So there you have it. Before we build it, let's quickly check what this machine can do. The thinking machine is really powerful. You can simply give it the question you would like to ask, or the problem you would like to solve, or decision you would like to make. And it will do all those analysis and search online and, uh, and craft a visualized report for you to make your own decision. Yeah, this is what we are going to build today. If you find this idea inspiring, please hit the like button below so more people can see this. Thank you very much. Let's get started. OK, before we build our thinking machine, we need to install Gemini CLI in our terminal. I've already pasted the link down below. You can check it by yourself as well. So um, let's open our terminal and type in the not slash v. It will check your not version. Um, basically, you need uh, version 20 plus to ensure the Gemini can work properly on your terminal. OK, now we can paste the command to install Google Gemini CLI. It only take a few seconds to install. Once you have the CLI installed, basically you will need to go to the file folder you would like to run the Gemini CLI. Uh, in this case, I prepared Gemini Plus mental model folder to run the thinking machine. So we will go there. Then enter Gemini. And everything is ready. Simple as that. If it is your first time to run Gemini CLI, it will ask you to pick the theme you would like to use. Well, the most important thing is to log in your account. In Gemini Terminal, you will type slash author. For most people who use Gemini CLI for the first time, simply enter login with Google. Uh, for me, uh, since I already have an API key, I will choose the second. 
to ensure my authorization is prepared. OK, our Gemini CRI is ready. Let's check our 100 mental models. Since Gemini CRI can read files from your computer, so to create a mental model, Knowledge Bank for the AI is really simple. You can basically create a Markdown file folder at any place in your computer. In this case, I will have it prepared as an Obsidian uh, file folder. So you can see that there are three folders. The first one is Mental Model. I've prepared 98 Mental Models and have them categorized into subfolders. Each file has the same name as the Mental Model itself. So when the Gemini CRI looking for the proper Mental Model to use, it will know where to find it. Let's look at one example of how those mental model files were crafted. Um, firstly, uh, there will be a description that will describe what this mental model is and what problem it will solve. And the second part, it will be the avoid situation when you should not use this mental model. The third part will be the situation that you should use this mental model. The last part will be the thinking steps. It will guide our AI assistant to think step by step to produce a quality analysis. OK, well, now we have our mental models prepared. Um, of course, that is not enough. We also need uh, guidance for our AI agent to work as a thinking machine. OK, this is the guidance. Uh, the guidance is named under Gemini.markdown. Uh, this is the specific file name that Gemini CRI will regard it as a master prompt to guide the agent to work. All right, let's quickly check this out. Uh, it includes the project information. Uh, basically, it tells the agent where to look for those mental models, where to save its work. After that, there will be a role for the AI to play, detailed analysis process, detailed evaluation process, and even a detailed uh, reporting template for the AI agent to follow. If you are interested in this file, no worries. It is also uploaded in my community. Uh, you can check it out later. In a nutshell, uh, after the AI agent received your problem, it will create a questionnaire to collect more information from you. Because as you know, um, if it has more information, it will produce more accurate analysis result. Once it has the information, it will look at all the mental models it has and read it one by one and select the most helpful mental models. Then it will do a detailed analysis and provide you a report. OK, now we have our thinking machine prepared. We can ask it a question. AI is such a hot topic. Should I invest in NVIDIA now? It will quickly analyze your problem. Of course, if this is your first time running Gemini CRI, it will ask your permission to write or create any file. You can simply give it permission, and it will run the process automatically. OK, the first step is that after AI analyzed your problem, it will create a questionnaire to answer. More detail you provide to Gemini the better result you will get. In this case, I answer the questionnaire, my experience about investment. And it also asked me whether do I really understand NVIDIA's business. To be honest, I know it is a great company. I build AI agents. But regarding how it, the company runs, I would only give 3 out of 10 to my understanding. And regarding the final question is that, um, would you like to make it a short-term speculation or long-term wealth investment? My answer is long-term wealth. With those information I provided, basically our AI agent will build our investment profile um, before doing any detailed analysis. Now, um, our agent is doing its work. It will go through a very detailed analysis process to update the problem diagnosis, to uh, filter out the most helpful mental models, it basically looked at those 98 mental models and picked top three. Then one by one, it create a detailed analysis report. OK, the report is prepared. Let's check the executive summary. It strongly recommend against me invest in NVIDIA. To summarize it, it said that I don't have the required expertise to make high risk uh, investment. And most likely, my reason to invest in NVIDIA is because the people around me do that. Uh, the lastly, uh, there is highly likely to have bubble in this stock price. What it suggests me is that instead of investing in Nvidia stock, I may consider in investing in those ETFs and make diversifications to lower my investment risk. This is a very detailed analysis report I have already uploaded on my Google Drive. If you would like to check it out, please click the link below. 
This report is very detailed, but we can do a step further to make this more accessible. You can simply ask our Gemini CLI to craft a visualized report using graphs and charts to ensure the readability. In the command line, you should add the folder where Gemini produced all those analysis results. OK, here we go. The visualization report does not only include the executive summary, but it also include my investor profile. In a nutshell, this investment is outside my cycle of knowledge. And the stock price is highly likely to have bubble. And the reason why I consider this investment is not because I read their financial report. I find this company is really worth investing. It is because everyone around me were trying to invest in NVIDIA, or some of them make money from it. Um, well, this is really true. Then I should abandon this idea in invest in NVIDIA. All right, now we have very powerful thinking machine in our hands. I'm curious what will be the first problem you are trying to use it to solve. OK, if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe my channel below so you won't miss the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.